Well, hello everybody. It's Lauren here, and we are off on a little overnighter here in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. I'm just exploring some of the local roads again, some places I haven't been to for years and years and years. Definitely going to do uh, a nice overnighter. It's pretty early in the afternoon, so I'm hoping to get settled into camp, you know, a little bit on the early side today. Uh, find a place so I can enjoy the view, maybe see the sun go down. So the area I'm heading into right now, it looks like it may have uh, been logged probably about, oh I don't know, 10 years ago or so. And a lot of the trees are short so we can have a really nice view. Well guys, uh, the end of the road here, <laughs> this tree, now if, if I had some more daylight, I think I'd cut this tree out of the way and proceed on up and see what's going on. But kind of looking up around the corner, I see there's already more stuff down. So I'm going to go back to a campsite I saw earlier with a pretty nice view and set up there for the night. But I'm glad to be out exploring. This is just uh, something I'm glad to be able to do. So I'll be heading down this dirt road and see if there's a little vantage point we can look at some mountains or maybe across the valley or whatever. But this is very promising. Well guys, here we are. Uh, this is a pretty cool little spot. I can look down into a little valley there. I can hear the river rolling along pretty good down below. Uh, well, it's called a creek. It's Canyon Creek down below. I can hear it, the water roaring down below. And there's just a slight breeze. Of course, it's cold out, but what do you expect? We're in the middle of January. Beautiful day, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a little setup for camp and maybe fly the drone a little bit, get some footage, and we'll let you guys look at the high speed.
Well guys, I've just been moving around camp here. Just Well, I flew the drone for a while, been taking in the views. Uh, watching the sunset against the clouds. Can't really see the sunset proper, but I can sure see it reflecting up on the clouds. It's just gorgeous. So it's getting cold enough now. I think it's fire time. I'm going to put to use a Christmas present that I got. And uh, you who gave it to me, you know who you are. It's one of these little arc lighters. Turn it on. And it makes a spark. Start the paper on fire. Yes, this breeze has picked up a little bit, and it's definitely down to freezing. So this is going to be really cozy, getting this cooked up and sitting by the fire. Yeah. So again, I'm using this Applewood Mesquite Smoke Olive Oil. This is good stuff. That's for cooking the pork chops. So it's time to sit by the fire and have some dinner. That, well, part of it anyway, going to make a good fireside dinner. A simple dinner, really. It wasn't hard to prepare. And it just tastes even better here out in the back roads by the fire. So I think I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the fire and enjoy my dinner, and I'll catch you guys a little later. Thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. It was a good night last night. Man, I slept great. Slept in, too. <laughs> so that was nice. But it's campfire and coffee time. Time to exercise the morning routine. I think I nicked the bag a little bit. I got some grounds in there. That's all right.
little trick seems to work pretty well. I'm happy with it. I'm going to sit by the fire and warm up. I think once this coffee soaks in just a little bit, it'll be time to cook breakfast. And I think I'm going to do away with this thing. It's all long and shaggy. I have to tell you that there's just something about hot coffee by a campfire. And plus when you're looking out over the world like this, I just can't describe it. It's it's just cozy, it's relaxing. Well guys, before I uh, fix any breakfast, I may have mentioned this earlier in the video, and then again maybe I've edited it out, I don't remember, <laughs> but this uh, quarantine beard, I think it's time for it to go. Well, not completely, I'm, I'm going to just trim it way down. And this is a great place to do it, I'm not making a mess in the bathroom or anything like that. Just out here in the woods where nobody cares. My sister would probably tell me to keep it this way. It would match my square head, right? <laughs> well, as you can see, our battery power has just run down. That's okay. I think I got about 95% of this, and I'll, I'll uh, finish it up later on today. But, yeah, 2020, it's been shaved off. Uh, here we are in 2021. Uh, Feeling fresh and light and airy and feeling like breakfast. So that's more important. Get that done right away. Well, nothing terribly fancy here today, folks. I'm just going to do some bacon. I got some eggs and uh, going to make some toast in the pan. And when I'm doing the bacon, you know, it tends to splatter around a lot. I'm just a tiny bit lazy about cleanup. So I'm going to put this over my stove and the burner on that side so I don't have to clean both sides of the stove with all the bacon splattering around. Me some pan toast. Dang it, look at that, I'm burning my toast already. Look at that bacon. That is good stuff. So while I'm waiting for bacon to cook, my thoughts are already planning ahead to, you know, for my next trip. <laughs> That's the thing. It seems like half the time that I'm out traveling or doing these back roads thing, I'm already thinking about, gee, where am I going to go next time? Okay. 
Okay, Ray, I didn't burn the bacon, so you don't have to fret. Put a couple of slices of pepper jack cheese in here with these eggs. That's a nice, simple breakfast to eat by the fire. Looking forward to that. You know, it's funny, I could cook this same meal at home, but for some reason, it just tastes so much better over a campfire. Well guys, I guess that wraps up another one. Just been a great little outing here. And I appreciate you guys staying tuned for these things. Yeah, I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making these. So until next time, see you out on the back roads. Mm -hmm.